after the D-Day landings on the beaches of Normandy in June 1944. The invasion forces needed to be supplied with food, fuel, munitions and medical supplies. The Mulberry harbours were assembled offshore to enable supply ships to dock and unload such supplies. Once unloaded on the floating wharves, lorries would drive along the floating pier to the shore. This pier consisted of separate roadways, called whales, which were supported by floating pontoons, called beetles. The total length of the floating pier needed to be far enough away from the shore so that ships could dock at the wharf during low tide but not too far so that fuel was wasted by those lorries. This actual length was estimated with data obtained by secret nighttime reconnaissances prior to the invasion, and immediately afterwards by surveys on the beach. This diagram of the design of a whale shows its length to be 80 feet. The whales were taken to Normandy by tugs in groups of six. Are these numbers significant? Well, consider the need to provide an engineer to the assembly operation who knew how many pieces of roadway would be needed to make a specific length. Now imagine that in case of enemy attack, that engineer was lost. Thus more engineers would be needed and spread across the fleet to allow for some to be lost. Or, an alternative would be to use a length that anyone, with basic arithmetic, could calculate the total from. Eighty feet for the size of a whale, then makes sense, as that number is wholly divisible into a mile. It is something anyone could calculate but it's even easier and no calculations are required as all you need to know is the number of chains in a mile. A chain used by surveyors is 66 feet in length. There are 80 chains in a mile. Even with metrication, distances measured in chains are visible today on bridges over railway lines. This bridge over the railway line at Cranmer Road in Mitcham, for example, shows 10 miles and one chain, which is the distance to London Bridge. With the knowledge that there are 80 chains of 66 feet to one mile, it can easily be seen then that there are 66 lengths of 80 feet to a mile. As mentioned earlier, the tugs were taking groups of six roadways, and hence 11 of these would make one mile. Therefore, anyone with basic arithmetic would be able to find out how many whales were needed to combine to make any distance required. In modern-day documentaries about the Mulberry Harbours, using metric instead of imperial measurements, would lose this aspect of their construction.